Over the past few decades, counties and organizations across southeast Iowa have worked together to reduce flooding in the Soap Creek watershed. Flooding from the creek affects Appanoose, Davis, Monroe, and Wapalo counties, and through the cooperation between the counties, 132 structures have been built to reduce flood damage. It's an extremely successful project. The landowners now are seeing the benefits with the heavy rains that we've had in the last several years. They have definitely seen the benefits. There's less water flowing in the creeks. The dams are holding it back, releasing it slowly. So this is a celebration of uh, a lot of people, a lot of organizations, state and federal, local, coming together. So I see it as just that, a celebration. The Iowa Flood Control Center received an $8.8 .8 million grant from the Housing and Urban Development Program to spend in four different watershed locations. Local legislators and county supervisors from the area hope our counties will receive the funding needed to build a remaining 30 structures. The program that we're leading is to do this detailed modeling and assessment, build projects, and then measure the impact or the benefit of those projects hydrologically. Uh, that will allow us uh, to uh, scale up to the entire state because we know that we have needs across the whole state. But a big question uh, that remains unanswered today is what kind of funding, what kind of projects will it really take to solve the water resources issues and flooding related issues in the state of Iowa? Even with much work needing to be done, the 132 structures already built and functioning across the four counties can serve as a model for the state and the nation. It's a number of counties cooperating, and that's difficult at times, but they've done a great job. Uh, it, as I said, it's a lot of bodies, a lot of governmental and non-governmental institutions and bodies that are cooperating. It's a great model, as you said, for the country as far as I'm concerned, but starting in Iowa and then moving forward for the rest of the country. It's a win-win for all of us when we can uh, uh, preserve the water quality, preserve the, the land and, and lessen the erosion, plus reduce the uh, 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 amount of money it takes to maintain county bridges and, and county structures is, uh, and keep the, the flooding reduced to a minimum. So I've learned a lot about how uh, well these people are cooperating and what, uh, is, how the benefits are going to benefit not only the people living here now, but uh, our grandchildren as well. So it's a win-win. Reporting in Wapalo County, Kate Alt, KTVO News.